Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is uh, project number four, clap on and off, clap on off, and double clap on, double clap off. We can, uh, we're going to clap on a lamp, an AC lamp, using our project board. Don't be intimidated by this. If you've watched the tutorials linked below, uh, it will make sense. You have to watch tutorial 10, sensors 1, for our microphone circuit. Um, tutorial 2, which is our uh, non-inverting or actually that's tutorial 1. Tutorial 1, non-inverting uh, operational amplifier. Tutorial 3, our 555 timer and monostable mode. That would be tutorial 3. Uh, tutorial 5 is our counter tutorial, I believe. Uh, our binary counter, which will act to toggle. And our relay driver, and I believe that that is tutorial number 9. The purpose of those tutorials is to help you understand each and every block on the electronics learning board. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this circuit relatively easily and uh, we're going to be able to clap on a lamp, clap off, and by making one quick adjustment we can do on, off. So that's what we're going to do. So here's how it works. Please do watch the tutorials because tutorials, I'm not going to go into gargantuan depth here. Here's your electric microphone. It picks up on... Uh, it pick it picks up on, on audio sounds, and what we want to do is connect our AC, our AC coupled electric output, and connect that to A1 plus, our A1 plus pin. Now, if that's the uh, the positive input to our first operational amplifier, uh, non-inverting operational amplifier. Now, what we get at the output of the microphone is our AC coupled signal, very very small amplitude, a couple millivolts. We want to amplify that up to five volts when we clap. So what you want to do is we want to use we want to adjust the gain one variable resistor on the board, and I'll be showing you all this as we do it. I want you to adjust the gain so we're able to multiply the output from a few millivolts to five volts. However, when we clap, we get a frequency. We get on off on off on off on off on off, and we only want one pulse. So as you can see, you get a big whack of messiness here. It's just five volts, but it's really a whole bunch of spikes. You can really think of it as a whole bunch of spikes because every single tone has its own different frequency. And it's amplified. So what we want to do is we want to turn that into one clean pulse. So what we're going to do is connect our A1 output, that is our amplifier 1, our first amplifier output, uh, to, uh, well first of all we'll connect it to our LED to actually see that we've amplified it enough. We'll get to that, but when we're done that we want to connect that to are the input of our 555 timer mon in monostable mode. Now if you watch the 555 timer monostable tutorial you'll notice that there's two ways of activating the 555 timer monostable mon mon multivibrator in the video and that's by using a button or by using a transistor driver on the input. Watch that. Watch that video and we'll see how we can use signals to activate our delay. Now the DLY potentiometer here on the 555 timer we can adjust our pulse width from very very short to very very long. We're going to use this output every time after we've configured everything to this point, connect the DLY output to an LED to see how long the delay is. We just want about a delay of about uh, 250 milliseconds, or rather one fourth of a second, or, uh, or one half of a second. We'll get to that point. You'll all see how this makes sense. You can always revert back to this block diagram. Once we have the single pulse, we've turned many pulses into one single pulse per clap, we can use that to trigger our counter IC. Now there's four outputs to the counter, uh, out A, out B, out C, and out D. You have to watch the 74LS93 tutorial linked below. Um, we have our AND1 pin connected to ground, and we'll do, we have to do that so that the counter isn't in constant reset mode. If you leave the AND1 and AND2 floating, uh, unconnected, the counter will not cooperate. So we're going to connect our, our pulse with uh, our, our, our variable pulse with the output from the 555 to the clock plus and the counter toggle states based uh, on out A, B, C, and D based on the falling edge of the pulse that's being received. So we'll clap and as soon as the pulse falls back to zero volts from the monostable multivibrator the counter will toggle. And that, is our, for, first of all, we'll have our out A connected to our ACT pin and we'll have our relay driver configured. Now, I just did a watch project three if you want to learn more about the relay driver. There's a, the, when you have it con um, set up, when you apply five volts to the ACT pin, a transistor drives the, the relay when the relay is configured. Um, and what we've got here is a 120 volt AC line cord connected to uh, our lamp. 
and the other wire, the hot wire is connected, is severed, and one's connected to the normally open wire, the other is connected to the common pin. When the relay is activated, internally, the normally open pin connects to the common to the common pin. So it's kind of like when the relay is on, it connects it. So now power is now your series circuit is applied to your lamp. Your lamp will turn on. When you turn the relay off, these wires are no, no longer connected. So anyway, we'll do this piece by piece and we'll actually have a, a final value, you know, a final product of clap on, clap off. Now, out A toggles after toggle states after every will toggle states after every pulse. So we'll be we'll be on, off, on, off. And it'll stay in those states until you get, until you clap again. So clap one on, clap two off. L B will toggle every second action. So clap, toggle state high, clap, toggle state low. L C would be four claps on, four claps off, and L D would be eight claps on, eight claps off. Watch this video. Watch all of these tutorial videos. They're all linked below. They will help you to understand exactly how we've made this clap on, clap off circuit. Anyhow, let's go to our board and actually do our adjusting. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our sensor jumper is connected to mic. So the leftmost pins are labeled mic. The middle pins are labeled LDR. The rightmost pins are labeled VIB. We want to make sure that our jumper is on the leftmost pins. So now our mic is connected. So, our AC coupled output needs to be amplified. So I've connected one side of a plug to the AC line. And I'm going to plug the second to the A1 plus line. So that's connecting that coupled signal to the input of our first amplifier. Now we can adjust the gain by playing with this bad boy. We make the gain higher by turning the potentiometer left. This is the gain one potentiometer, we make the gain smaller by turning it right. So we're going to take the A1 out, so this is our amplifier output, and put it to our LED line, which is right here. So basically, we want to make sure that that LED lights up fully when we clap. So we might have to make some adjustments to our gain. Now watch the operation am operational amplifier tutorial to see how, how that all works. So nothing's happening. What we'll do is we will, hello, we will turn it left many times. We'll see what happens. There we go. Let's turn it a bit more, just for good measure. So now we're getting a real, we're getting a real reaction from it. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so now our next step, we want to take this bad boy right here, and we want to put it in our monostable multivibrator input, and that will be on our in pin. And what we want to do is we want to take our output labeled of the 555 timer in monostable mode and connect it to the LED, and that is the DLY, DLY pin to the LED. Now, as I mentioned during the block diagram discussion, that you can activate it two ways. This button or by using the transistor input. Now I can clap. So I can just add this to, it might, it might detect my loud voice too. Uh, we could connect this output directly to our relay driver now and our relay would turn on for a duration as you can see. That duration can be changed. But what we're going to do is we are going to lessen the duration by turning the DLY, the delay potentiometer right here, uh, to the right. And that should make our delay much shorter. And that's what we want. We want it to be relatively short. So, yep, we want to keep turning it right until we get a delay of about just short of half a second. One Mississippi. Okay, that's perfect. So that's turning our, uh, that's, that's turning our signal, our, our pulse into a fixed with. So we're not actually getting a frequency. We're not getting several pulses. If we had several pulses placing it on the input of our counter, it would toggle it many times and would leave us in an unknown state. So this should be perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pin off the LED line and I'm going to connect it to the clock plus input. Now if you remember from our diagram, I also have to take the AND1 pin or AND2, doesn't matter, either one, 
and I have to connect it to our ground plane, which is right on the bottom here. So now our counter is active. So what I can do is I can actually take the counter output, or to, uh, sorry, uh, out A, out labeled out A tog, to our LED just to see it. Okay, so. Okay, so now what? What if I put it? What if I connect out B to our LED? Pretty cool, huh? Connected back to out A. Now, what we can do is take that out A and connect it to our ACT pin, our actuator pin. And you want to make sure that your actuator is set to relay. There's four, uh, six pins there. The middle two pins are labeled RLY. Place your two-pin jumper connecting those two points. So you won't actually be able to hear it uh, when the relay turns on because the relay doesn't make a sound when, you, when it turns on. But uh, you won't be able to hear it because I'm clapping. So better, better, better yet, let's see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the circuit. I'm going to connect uh, the cut wire, my AC wire, cut into the common pin and, then, and the uh, normally uh, open pin. And so when the relay is on, it reconnects it and power will get to my lamp. So let's give that a try. So I've got my severed wire connected to the common pin and the normally open pin. So when the relay turns on, it reconnects it. That's right there. I've got my wire still set up. I applied power to it via our 9 volt AC uh, input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, clap on, clap off. Before I do that, I might mention that be very, very careful when you're playing with AC. If you're not, if you're not comfortable with it, you don't have any experience with it, don't muck around with it on your own. Make sure that you have someone with, there with you because it is dangerous. If you touch those exposed wires or even the terminal blocks or underneath the, the circuit while it's still alive, you will shock yourself and it can potentially kill you. So be careful. So let's try dual clap. So I've changed the uh, the output to out B, not out A. So now two two claps will do it. So I hope you found this one entertaining. This is one of my favorite projects. Uh, Tons more to go, 16 more projects to go minimum. If I find more projects, I will add them. So follow along with me with these videos. This board is available uh, for pre-order at engineeringshock.com. It will ship towards uh, the end of August, and uh, it will have all the peripherals talked about, and uh, you'll save $20. I'll also have a Kickstarter campaign for this when the time comes. So take care, and thanks for everything, guys.